welcome welcome everybody to week three of uh wih sea high school esports this is aaron shadowstep here commentating this game we have case high legends versus the park panthers we're here we started off today right away um, because it is two RUSD teams that are down here, so we get to start off very very quickly Sorry about there's no intro highlight or anything like that. We've got no flashy stuff for you today. Terribly sorry Let's get in straight into this draft. We have um, oh goodness We have some really great bands here coming out um, from Case's side is gonna be on blue side and then part of the red uh, LeBlanc, Caitlyn, and Kaisa, strong mid laner pick on um, against Park that they have taken away from Lost Winds. Very strong uh, mid laner from Park side and 280 carry ban. Uh, direct hit at Young Chieftain, who has already picked the Jinx up. Uh, Volibear, Kled, Blitzcrank, and Trundle all gone from Park. Morgan, another one gone. Uh. For um, Park as well, another one banned away, another support. Echo left up for Jamaican Taco. Yeah, for the first um, one of his main uh, key um, champions that he does enjoy playing. He was left up by Park. Yeah. Is gonna be banned away from Kazuko Sin in the top lane. Another, another support ban. So be coming away from Case. Echo, Kane, and Nautilus coming out from Case's side. Really, really strong comp right now. These people want to team fight. Coming out from uh, Park's side, we have Jinx, Warwick, Akali, and Jax coming out. Another really strong team. They want to focus on these picks. Um, they have a really strong late game with the Akali and the Jinx and Jax now. Going to be locked in for these people. Let's see what AD carry and top lane that Case want to pick right now. Jin is hovered right now. Aphelios is left up. He's going to be locked in for the bot lane. And Poppy is going to be hovered and locked in as well. Very strong champ slot coming through right now. Senna is going to be the pick for support for the um, park side. Coming out right now. Yeah, we have Poppy in the top lane, Kane in the jungle, uh, Echo in mid lane, Aphelios and AD Carry, and Nautilus as the support role will be coming through uh, for Case's lineup. And on the other side for park, we have Jax in the top lane, Warwick in the jungle. Akali in the mid lane, Jinx at AD carry, and Senna as support. Pardon me if I said Jinx twice, I meant to say Jax for the top lane. Welcome, welcome everybody to the chat. It's coming through right now, we're gonna transition real quick. Gonna put on some music while we wait for the um, three minute spectator delay. A little bit of background music while we talk about this draft coming through we do have some great things for you to help hopefully i can help you guys um when the game does start up uh we do have a it is called epic pen hopefully this can show up this will help us uh draw a little bit and help you guys when i'm explaining things a, bit, a little bit easier to see what i'm talking about while it's showing up on the map so you can see right here talk about people going up in the top lane a rotation that they're trying to do that's supposed to be an arrow don't don't make fun of me please um just like that we can help you draw and see things more on the map coming around like this is this is the baron pit right here this little inside there this if you guys can see that yeah that's showing up very well actually i think i might keep the yellow enemy nexus blue team nexus dragon pit yeah hopefully this shows up a little bit more i can change the size and stuff like that hopefully it'll help you guys out seeing what i'm seeing and um explaining things for you guys hopefully this will all help out now we just gotta wait on the spectator delay k 
Kane is gonna be um, for Case's team. Kane, who's the jungler right here, played by uh, Timothy Champ, right now, um, is gonna be really strong because he wants to get Rost. If you don't know Kane, he can choose depending on who he attacks in game, whether it be ranged or melee champions. The more ranged he kills, he'll become a more uh, bruiser tank-like um, champion. And then if he hits more range, he'll become more of a assassin. There is three melee champions on the side of park. He's gonna get Ross extremely fast if he is ganking um, a lot. These three are the melee champions right here, the Jax, Warwick, and the Akali. It's gonna be really optimal for them to get Rost. Huge, huge team fight and a ton of heals. It's gonna be in Park's uh, choice to get uh, a lot of anti-heal for that Rost. It's gonna help him out a lot. A little bit under a minute now for the spectre delay. We also have to wait for the loading screen. If you guys haven't noticed, you are already joining me right now. We do have left chair here. Hopefully, uh, hopefully I'll say hello to left chair. We gotta get an emote for him. That'd be pretty fun. Looks like we only got two skins right now. We got the True Damage Echo coming out for Jamaican Taco. Really, really clean skin. Is that showing up well for you people? Yeah, it's showing up well for me. I hope it's very noticeable for you guys so I can help um, locate some things a little bit better. Looks like Case wants to invade. Hopefully, all oh, the hook just barely misses. Popping the side is gonna be coming up to try and choke him off. No, she gets a quick auto attack in. Looks like they're gonna get some early wards right now for the side of Case. Very strong early. Looks like they're actually planning on staying here and taking this blue buff away from the Warwick. Looks like Park is gonna do the same. It's gonna be a uh, long ways um, jungle clear for these this team and what I mean by long ways over here if we look on the mini map uh, this Warwick is gonna be clearing the blue buff and hopefully taking the Gromp as well right over here he's gonna path this way if you guys can see this it's showing up a little bit barely showing up he's gonna take the blue buff oh no he's not gonna take the blue buff he's actually gonna be pathing all the way back to his red and it looks like Jax is gonna be helping him out as well if we check this out right up here yeah it looks like he's going back up to take this route this is gonna be a very very slow start right now for park this is actually really really uh bad for them in this position because poppy up in the top lane has free reign right now to uh farm and the jacks 
looks like is just oh, I gotta change these that's better the Jax is just getting back into lane right now poppy has a huge lead on experience this is gonna be really really good right now for this poppy Oh, it looks like Warwick is coming in to take the blue buff right now away from this Kane, who is just starting up on his um, his red buff right now. Cleared his rate, uh, his um, his chickens as well. Yeah, it looks like the Kane had come through, taken the blue buff, went down, right over here, took the chickens, and then now his own red coming out. And I was gonna go up and clear his top side as well, Warwick just coming off of the blue buff steel coming through in the mid lane here we just have echo free farming it up versus lost winds on the akali Nothing too much going on right now. It's gonna be really slow. Not not so much for case that's coming out. We almost gets that third stack coming out. Would have been a lot of damage for that electrocute coming through. Hi hi, it uh Eevee. Welcome welcome. Thank you so much for joining. The basement welcome welcome to the stream this is case versus park everybody hope you all remember this is week three of wissau's competitive esports these two are rusd schools coming out to duke it down in this game going to the bot lane looks like park's team has pushed it a little bit case actually getting a 300 gold lead right now um, starting off, looks like the farming right now for Poppy is really proving 22 CS to 9. If you can't see what I'm talking about, right down here, 23 CS for the Poppy to the 9 on the Jax is going to be a huge uh, CS lead right now. Oh, that hook barely missing right now is going to be coming through. Park want to push up a little bit, maybe miss a few skill shots right there. Gonna be hitting that root onto the Nautilus. First blood actually coming out onto. Oh, looks like we're gonna have to fight down here anyways right now. We can't stop it right back to what happened with Echo in the first thing. Gonna be taking out the solo kill. Gonna be taken down as well. Ophelio is gonna be taking out support from Park's side. Echo with a solo kill on the Akali in the chat. We're gonna jump back a little bit real quick. Before the action had just happened, we're gonna see real quick what happened. Then we're gonna jump back to live. Oh, looks like he barely had caught that stun up. Very, very nice stun, and the ignite gonna be coming down as well. Right into that. Speed it up again so we get back to live. through now it's going back very slow gonna be resetting it bot lane coming through Warwick almost dying to these raptors looks like he's almost gonna be going down oh my goodness and he does he dies to the raptors that's a big whoopsie daisy goodness me dr x lunatic go legends you right you right looks like they have a very strong leads right now with these two kills going their way about a 1k gold lead Ooh, and the poppy gonna be taking up a solo kill on the Jax. A little bit, a little bit of a mess up there. Uh, meant to eat the Jax anyways. Top difference, Lamau. Very, very true. Looks like the Warwick is up here in the top lane, smelling uh, low health poppy. Cannot seem to find her. Does manage to get back anyways. Gonna be going away. Yeah, as you can see right now, this. Uh, lead for the poppy is gonna be huge two levels ahead at six minutes versus this Jax is insane the Warwick and the Jax not taking that early blue buff um, is gonna be very huge 
um, for this game, and they had to go back and then take the red buff super late. Jax getting to lane really late, missing a lot of experience. It's gonna be very, very far down right now. In the mid lane here, Kali. A little bit of up, actually up on CS versus the Echo, but down a kill. Um, CS can be very important, which is, I keep saying CS, it is the uh, minion kills in the game that is counted. Three waves of minions count as one kill. So it's very, very nice to have a lot of uh, minion kills early on in the game. Looks like they're going to be duking out right now. The Converge is going to be coming down. It's not going to be setting up the Akali. She's going to be in the smoke screen waiting. Her town ult is going to be coming up from the Akali. Hopefully she can get the kill. But the Echo re uh, Rewind is going to be coming through. And the Akali, the Ignite is going to be taken out. Oh, but the Q barely misses. That Echo, Kane's going to be coming in for the gank. Coming into the wall right now. Going to be letting it go. Very, very close fight. Both mid laners going down very, very low. Ooh, it looks like Bowlin wants to duke out some more. Maybe take, out, take down this Akali. Very, very well played by mo both mid laners right there. Oh my goodness. Looks like Kazuko Sin in the top lane is going to be diving the Jax. We're going to see what happened here. Yeah, it looks like the Jax just caught up very, very low. Going to be charged right into the wall. Right there, going to be going down. Oh, it looks like Warwick is smelling somebody very, very low right now. He's got the Predator boots going on. Got the Fear coming through as well. Going to be chopping him up. But the Poppy is just too healthy right now. Cannot do anything down to the bottom. We're going to be fighting out right now. A fellow's ult is going to be coming out. Rentario, though, it's Nautilus support. The Ignite's going to be taking her down as well. 6-0 for the side of Case coming through. Very, very strong early game coming out right now. This will be very, very good because Park's team has decided to go for this really, really late game scaling comp. It's going to take them a while to get um, turned on and actually be able to do anything. Case wants to fight in the mid game. Really, really powerful right now. WW Pepe Lap. Ivy, please. Looks like three down here going to be tower diving. The poor, poor Jinx scrolling up a little bit. Looks like they want to get the Senna as well. That auto tech gonna be coming through, flashing and ulting away. Looks like the Akali is in the smoke screen. Oh, these auto techs gonna be slowing out. One more hit is gonna be taking down that Senna. Looks like Warwick and the Akali are here to fight back. This Aphelios is very low on the side of Case. Hopefully this Akali can take it out. But oh, the, the Super Mega Death Arc is gonna be missing. Warwick goes down on the sideline. But this Akali and the Aphelios is gonna be taken down. Oh my goodness, that turret from the Aphelios saving his life right there. Akali, our ultimate was not up. The Aphelos is going to be living 10-0 for the side of Case right now. Mountain Dragon is going to be up in 20 seconds. Looks like Jax is going to be stunning up that Poppy. Going to be taking her away. Over 60 minions for the Poppy right now. Up two levels. Let's actually see. Yeah, nine and a half for the Poppy. Jax almost level eight. So about a level and a half of lead. Very, very strong right now. Poppy really wants to dive this Jax and go super strong right now. Gonna be charging it up. Cannot actually run away with that W going on. Oh, gets stunned up underneath the turret though. Oh, it's gonna be dived anyways. Jax, you should've just let it go, man. Gonna be stunned up and locked down. Goodness me. Kane here. Finding Park's bot lane and their jungler gonna be charged down by the Warwick. He really wants to fight this though. Gonna be going into all three of them. The Akali there as well. Gonna be ulting up on the Senna. The Echo Converse is gonna be coming down, setting up three people. That is a huge triple kill for the Aphelios. Does go down to the Akali. Huge triple kill for the side of Case. Four kills going away total. One kill only going away apart for that Akali. I'm gonna pick up the Mountain Dragon for that team fight win right there. Huge play by that Echo. We're gonna watch that again real quick while they're taking this dragon. 
Look at this king going in super early. Oh, looks like he's about to get caught out, but this convergence right here is going to be coming down and setting up all three of the enemy team from the side of Park going to be coming through. And the Akali is barely taking down Midfellas before she dies herself. It's going to be a huge pickup for Case and that Dom Drake right afterwards. Super Mega Death Rocket. Tries to go in for the steal, does not manage to, goes down. Ocean Soul is gonna be the uh, the, <laughs> the dragon of the game. Tannin Poggers, that is very, very right. Stifler, as you can see right now, is your AD carry. That is your Aphelios right here. That is the person who just picked up that triple kill. Now six, one, and four for that Aphelios. Huge, huge lead over this Jinx who only has parts to an item. Well, he is sitting on that full essence reaver. It's gonna be huge. For this team fighting poppy 400 004 for the uh lonely lonely ross here no he's gonna be going for the shadow assassin actually really enjoys that shadow assassin i played with uh timothy champ myself and he will never go rost no matter what after after i he went one game and did super well in it he will never go Rust um, ever again. Always will go Shadow Assassin. This is going to be really strong to blow up um, a lot of uh, squishy targets, such as the Senna and the Jinx from the side of Park. It's going to be huge for him to blow up these two bottom carries, because if Jinx can go off, um, it can be actually detrimental for the side of uh, Case if she can pop off. Because of you, yeah, that's definitely why um, he goes the Shadow Assassin. Look at this damage, gonna be coming out half her health in just one combo. All of them gonna be coming down onto the Senna as well. Gonna be taking her down one full combo, as you said. As I just said. Huge damage gonna be coming through up in the top lane. Looks like the turret's gonna be going down. Poppy gonna be turret diving. This Jack's gonna be doing half his HP. Right now, turret plating almost gonna be going down. This Poppy just really wants to get this turret. Oh no, Poppy taking up a little bit too much damage in the top lane. Still, that turret not going down. Gonna be taking up a little bit too much damage. And the war gonna be coming out. Dodges the Sen ultimate. And the Jinx ultimate gonna be coming through right now. Oh, and then 900 gold is gonna be going over to that Warwick. Very, very good pickup right there for Park's team. It's a huge shutdown bonus on that Poppy right there. For the Warwick, it kind of sucks. It should have gone to the Jack. Should have been a better hyper carry. Um, nonetheless, it is going to be a very good pickup for Park's team. A lot of gold going into their pocket. Kane going to be clearing out some wars right here. Going to go into this mid lane. Echo missing his convergence. So just, you know, in the bot lane, we're gonna be coming through right now. Case wants to look for Pixar right now. Oh, the, the wall is gonna be in the way of that Nautilus. So it's gonna be coming through. The chakrams are huge right now. It's gonna be coming out, gonna be taking down that Jinx. Look at all those chakrams on that big boy. Look at all of them. Looks like going back in the mid lane. Looks like Echo is gonna be taking down, oh my goodness, the Akali and another solo kill. I think that's his third solo kill of the game. Gonna be coming through. Here we go. Gonna be spinning up a little bit. Gonna be going down, sped up a little bit too much. Gonna be turn side right now. They duke it out just for a second. Coming through all these missions. Oh! At the last second, his um, Echo's Q, as you can see right there on screen, comes back to him and it just barely picked up that kill on the Akali. Looks like we're coming in here for trying to get that kill on. Not gonna be finding anything. I'm terribly sorry, everybody. Looks like another kill gonna be going way to the side of Case on uh, the mid lane. I'm terribly sorry that we missed that. Akali almost getting caught out here by the Nautilus. Really gonna be missing, gonna be chained up. Anyways, the first dragon soul, ocean dragon, is gonna be coming out right now. 
really want this turn. Oh, and then Kelly going in on the E did not meant, meant to do that at all. It's not also going to come through. going to be flipping up the side of Park right now. It's still going to be going down to that uh, the Nefelio. Damn, is coming through. Another triple kill coming out for the side of that Nefelios on the Cases team. Wow, wow. He is doing a ton of damage right now. Two full items. Case. Echo's going to be going back to recall. Going to come through. Poppy is going to be spawning that Rift Herald in the top lane. Going to be doing a lot of damage. That turret going to be actually going to be taking it down. This Jack Snow is going to be stunned up into the wall right now. Going to be taken down fully. Almost. There it goes. Jax cannot jump away when that circle is around him. Uh, the Poppy W, it, it acts as a, as a ground. If you had move at all, he was going to be taking a lot of damage to that. Looks like we have the cane almost going down here to this dragon. Can he even take it right now? Gonna be trying to pinch that wall, gonna get a little bit of health back. Coming through again, up in the top lane, that Rift Hell taking out the top lane inhibitor turret, as well as the bottom lane in the mid lane still, trying to do some damage on this mid lane inhibitor turret. Uh, I wonder if the Poppy can even take it out at all. like the top lane inhibitor still gonna be alive right now still in the bottom lane gonna be coming through of this echo gonna be getting very very low Jack's looking to go in on these low health people Luke's gonna come through on top of that Jack's gonna be knocked up with the Nautilus ultimate uh, fell into the sideline gonna be taking out a ton of people with all this damage the Tacos are going crazy right now he's gonna be taking out turret right now he's gonna be doing a ton of damage and he gets another triple kill for the 15 and 2 of Felios. Yeah, it looks like he did uh, damage too early for this uh, side of the team for the Nautilus to start taking it up. Was taking the turret for just a little bit too long right there. Jinx, at 18 minutes, has finally finished her first item. It's going to be the Runan's Hurricane. Going to be doing a lot of wave clear. Um, Runan's Hurricane allows her to, when you attack, it'll shoot off two separate um, auto attacks that do reduce damage. But still going, oh, thread the needle, the Jinx barely missing that ultimate. The Super Mega Death Rocket going to be coming and missing right in between that Nautilus and the Echo. Looks like KCD want to get all of these inhibitors right now. This Poppy is super tanky right now. Echo very, very low himself. Does not want to focus um, these getting these inhibitors for nothing. Looks like the top lane inhibitor actually went down. Gonna be taking this blue buff right here. Let's talk about this gold lead that Case has right now. Forty-one thousand gold for their entire team versus twenty-four thousand for the entire team of Park. That is a huge lead. That is almost a twenty k gold lead at twenty minutes. This Aphelios has three full items, has a huge 60 um, CS lead on Jinx. It is massive. A massive player um, in this league right now is Stifler on AD Carry. Huge, huge player coming up. Coming up, Case will be forcing this mid lane again. Uh, the last turret standing for the inhibitors. Oh, Nautilus Hook almost gonna be coming out and taking that Akali. Super low right now, burning down with the red buff. Convergence from the Echo gonna be coming out. Trying to stun up anybody coming through. We're getting the, the huge damage actually bursting him down with that three hit passive. Coming out Akali gonna be going down to Stifler again. The Nefelio is doing a ton of damage. Oh, I'm gonna be missing on the sideline. Double kill now for the Nefelio coming through in the auto attacks. Tons of damage all out on top of this. Looks like they have a top lane wave coming out right now. They have some super minions in the base. All the Akali is good. Christian is going to be doing a ton of damage. That's going to be an ace of the side of Case. Did not mean to rhyme right there. Dr. Seuss and me coming out. Coming through that a huge wave set up for the lane. Aphelios coming out. GG, don't end. Going for some kills. They killed Jinx in the fountain. Goodness gracious, that was another stomp by Case's team again. Huge victory uh, versus an in, in RUSD team. Park High School, very, very nice uh, by Case.
as I said from the beginning, it was a really, really tough for um, cases, I mean, Park's team to get rolling. They had some really uh, slow starters. The Jacks missing um, out on a huge experience um, versus that Poppy really threw off um, a good hyper carry for Park. Um, because it took so long in the jungle to go back and take the red buff. Uh, Jinx could not just get turned on, had a very good CSing at the end of the game. Um, but in the end, uh, Case showing up super, super strong right now, um, doing a ton of damage. That Aphelios, honestly, my MVP of this game, uh, it was going to be the Echo, Jamaican Taco, but um, at the end, 18 and 2 and 6 gonna be stiffler on the Aphelios. I don't I can't tell you how many triple kills I saw from that Aphelios coming out that was just a massive massive uh, lead right there 12,000 gold from one person at 20 minutes is gonna be huge very very well played from case very very well played from Park as well they had some they had some sparkle moments coming through um, definitely that Akali getting that that kill on the Aphelios shutting him down early on um, still losing the team fight, but that um, big shutdown gold, that 900 gold on on the uh, Poppy in the top lane that the Warwick uh, sadly picked up instead of the Jax would have helped out a little bit. Uh, Park mechanically really less than Case, as you can see. Case really showing up big right now, um, really looking strong. This is gonna be the third week, 3-0, uh, under 30 minute game that they have had. It's gonna be huge. But everybody, thank you so much for joining me today. Uh, that is going to be the only game that we have on stream today. Thank you, thank you again so much for joining me here. I've been Aaron Shadowstep um, from NYPB. Thank you guys so, so much for joining me. GG Pog, thank you, thank you so much. Ivy and everybody else who joined in chat, Dr. X Lunatic, Go Legends, they definitely brought it up here. Thank you guys so much. I'll see you guys all next week with some Rocket League. Thank you guys. Bye bye.